Hey foodies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel. All my recipes are very easy to make and made with ingredients that are easily available at home. So today we're going to make my family's all time favorite. We're going to be making keema. It's lamb mince, but you can use chicken mince as well. Just stay tuned for the recipe. Okay, so let's look at the ingredients for our amazing, yummy keema recipe today. So I've taken uh, one onion, I've chopped it. Uh, I've taken about three green chilies. I've taken one teaspoon of turmeric powder. I've taken two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. I've taken a handful of coriander leaves. I've taken one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder. If you like it a bit spicy, then please take two um, teaspoons of red chili powder. I've taken one uh, small tomato and I've chopped it. You'll require um, oil. I would add about two tablespoons of oil and salt as per taste. I'm using uh, lamb mince here. This is about 250 grams of lamb mince, but you can use chicken mince as well. Uh, in both the cases, it's going to be yummy. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm going to be using a pressure cooker. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, that's not a problem. You can just use a normal pan. The reason why I'm taking the pressure cooker is because um, it just helps to cook the meat quicker. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to add the oil. Just a little tip. Um, whenever I just use pressure cooker if I'm using lamb mince. But if you're using chicken mince, then you don't need pressure cooker. Okay, so I'm going to add the onions now. Okay, you can see that uh, my onions are ready now. So I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste and uh, I'm going to still cook it on high flame. Uh, and I'm going to let it cook for about 30 seconds with the ginger garlic paste. Okay, so I'm going to add some salt at this stage. Salt is as per taste. I'm going to add the lamb mince in. Okay, I've reduced the flame a bit. Okay, I'm just going to let the lamb, the salt, um, the onions and the ginger garlic paste kind of like mix really well. And then I'm going to put it on medium flame. Okay, so at this stage I'm going to add the tomatoes. I'm just going to mix it well for about a minute or two. Okay, so I'm going to add the turmeric powder now. Okay, and we'll add the chili powder as well. Okay, so we're going to give it a nice mix. Now, in this, uh, if you want, you can add some fenugreek leaves as well, uh, if you want. Um, I'm going to add about one cup of water and I'm going to um you know let it cook in the pressure cooker for about four whistles now if you don't have a pressure cooker you can just leave it um, and just uh, keep on kind of like stirring and uh, cooking on low flame till the meat gets cooked uh, but if you're using a pressure cooker then it's about four whistles and keep it on a high flame and um, if you're using chicken mince then obviously you don't need uh, a pressure cooker it, it should cook for about seven to eight minutes and it should be done Okay, so I'm going to, um, you know, um, let this cook. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please spread the word. All my recipes are really simple and you can cook it um, with less prep and anything that's available at home. I do suggest alternatives as well. I do want to dedicate this recipe to all my uh, mom's uh, brothers and sisters, um, my aunts and uncles. Uh, because keema is one of the most loved recipes. We like to eat it with pao, which is like bread. Or you can have it with dal and rice. You can have it with chapati. It just goes with everything. You can just have it on its own as well. So it's so amazing. Okay, so now we'll wait. Um, you can see that um, I've uh, put the lid on. And let's uh, wait for about four whistles. Okay, so now that it's been uh, cooking in the pressure cooker, I've just taken it off. I'm just going to let um, the mince kind of like cook and all the water kind of dry. 
okay and at this stage i'm going to be adding uh, the green chilies and i'm going to be adding the coriander leaves as well mix okay so now we'll plate this up our kima is ready this is going to taste amazing so let's just plate this up okay here we go so our kima is ready enjoy let me know um uh, once you try this recipe it's very easy uh, once again a reminder make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel you can follow me on instagram as well and i've got a facebook page as well uh, thanks for all your love guys and enjoy this yummy recipe